Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about how 3DS authentication works. What is 3DS authentication? 3DS is also known as 3D Secure or 3 Domain Secure. 3DS is the protocol which is used to do the pair authentication during card payment. Pair authentication means the customer authentication. The latest version of 3DS is 2.2. Customers who use a 3D secured card need to perform an additional verification using OTP or biometric during the payment process. When customer make the payment using the 3DS secured card, the website redirects the customer to the page which is from access control server of the issuing bank. The ACS server of issuing bank sends the one-time PIN or OTP to the customer commonly by the SMS. Then customer enters the OTP on the, on the authentication page and the payment is authenticated. So once this authentication is successful, then only the customer would able to place an order. Note, not all payment cards or banks are enrolled with 3DS security. 3D secure. Where a payment card is not enrolled in 3D secure, the 3D secure authentication step is simply bypassed. Nowadays, most of the banks 3D secure. If bank is 3D secured, then the bank would ask customer to register the card with the 3D secure. So the registration would be done by the customer only normally with the first payment 3ds authentication is the one more security layer in the payment processing to avoid or to reduce the fraud cases so here you can see i have attached one screenshot the authentication window look like as below for the visa card you can see verified by the visa means it is showing that this is the 3ds 3d secure card mastercard you will say I think secure key for the Amazon expert it is having different and the member bank is the one which has issued the card to you. You might be thinking why the name is 3DS, 3 domains secure. The reason is mentioned here. Three domains participate in the authentication process and those three domains are acquirer domain, issuer domain and the card network. The acquire domain contains these parties merchant payment gateway 3ds server issuer domain contains the acs server of the issuing bank card network contains the discovery server the 3ds authentication process involves these three domains acquirer issuer card network that's why it is known as the three domain secure now let's see the 3ds authentication flow how the 3ds authentication process works so here i have drawn the diagram which is showing the 3ds authentication process in the red box left side this is representing the merchant application website on the merchant application on the website customer when customer submitted the payment detail using credit card the website trigger the step number one website sends the 3ds check and authorization request to the payment gateway so when payment gateway receives this call it forward the request to the 3ds server so this is the third party 3ds server step 1.1 then 3ds server forward forward the request to the discovery server which is maintained by the card network bija master step 1.2 so after receiving the request from 3ds server discovery server check if the issuing bank of the credit card is registered with 3ds or not if bank is not registered with 3ds the discovery server send the response back to 3ds server saying bank not 
enabled with 3ds if bank is enabled with 3ds discovery server forward the request to the access control server of the eswing bank step 1.3 acs access control server check if that particular card is enabled with 3ds or not if card is enabled with 3d it triggers the otp to the customer so acs server after checking if 3ds enabled or not it will send the response back to discovery server and discovery server will forward the response to the 3ds servers and 3ds servers will forward the response to the payment gateway in the response payment gateway will find the details if 3ds enabled for the card or not or the bank is enabled with 3ds or not if payment gateway find the response like 3ds is not enabled either bank is not enabled or credit card not enabled then payment gateway trigger the authorization request to the payment processor 1.5 and the authorization flow is triggered and this authorization flow is the same which we discussed in the previous video so if somebody is have if somebody has not watched that video please check that video you will understand how the how the authorization flow works payment gateway trigger the authorization request step 1.5 to the payment processor here we are discussing the how 3ds is working that's why we are not going in detail again about authorization request if payment gateway receives that 3ds is enabled for that particular card then what it does it would send the response back to merchant step 1 the response of the step 1 back to merchant saying that 3ds is enabled with for that particular card so in the response it also provide the url of the access control server after receiving that response merchant application will redirect the customer to that particular url where the authentication form would be shown to the customer to enter the otp which was triggered in the step 1.4 so after the authentication form is shown to the customer customer enter the otp in that form and submit the otp and that otp would be submitted to the access control server 1.5 and access control server is return the response to the merchant if request is not successful it will show the error to the user or uh, validation is unsuccessful please try again if the authentication request is success merchant application will trigger the step 2 3ds validation and authorization request after payment gateway receive this request it will it will trigger the step 2.1 validation request to the 3ds server and 3ds server will forward the request to the discovery server and discovery server will forward the request to the access control server in the response access control server returns if validation was successful or not and it will return the response to the discovery server discovery server will return the response to the 3ds server payment gateway receives the response of the validation request if validation request does not return the successful response then payment gateway do not trigger the authorization request then it will send the response to the merchant application saying that validation was failed and merchant application will show the error to the customer if a payment gateway receives the successful response from the validation request it triggers the authorization request 2.4 to the payment gateway and authorization flow is executed which we already discussed in the previous session so payment gateway triggers authorization request either in the step 1 or step 2 so only one time authorization request trigger and the payment gateway receives the response and after receiving the authorization response payment gateway send the response to the merchant application and accordingly merchant application will allow customer to 
place an order or or to stop customer from placing based on the authorization response if authorization authorization response is successful customer will able to place the order if authorization re response is failed then customer will not able to place an order so this is how the 3ds authentication works that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video